Hi, our focus today is to investigate how addition and multiplication can help us solve problems. Let's start with an examination of our discovery picture. We can see chairs have been set outside for a reception of some kind. Some of the chairs have bows on them and the rest are plain. Our challenge is to find the number of chairs in total. But look, we are asked to show two ways of working this out. Remember, our focus is to use addition and multiplication when solving problems. She says, I will work out how many are in each group and then add the two numbers to find the total. Let's represent this using counters. There are two groups. The yellow counters represent the chairs with bows and the red represent the plain chairs. Each group has four rows. We can approach our problem by finding out the total number in each group and then adding the two numbers together. So the yellow array shows us 4 times 3 is equal to 12. The second array, representing the plain chairs, shows the calculation 4 times 5 is equal to 20. To solve the problem how many chairs in total, we can add these two numbers together. 12 add 20 and we can see that's 32. How else might we have approached this problem using addition and multiplication? Well, she says, I will add the three chairs with bows and the five plain chairs to give me eight chairs in each row. Then I will multiply my answer by four as there are four rows. Let's represent this with counters. We can see from the array that there are eight counters in each row. That is what our whole part model is showing us. Eight can be partitioned into three and five. Three chairs with bows add five plain chairs is equal to eight chairs in each row. There are four rows, so we can now multiply to find the total. Four times eight, and we know that that is equal to 32. We should take a moment to reflect on our discovery. These two methods show us that multiplying a number by two numbers added together is the same as doing separate multiplication and then adding. I wonder, is it always true? What about this multiplication equation? 4 times 8 is equal to 32. Can we break that apart a different way to make two multiplication calculations that would be added together to give us the same answer, 32? We can partition, remember that means break apart, 8 into 6 and 2. Our array represents the two groups. One group has four rows with six in each row. The second group has four rows with two in each row. We can calculate the total by four times six is equal to 24 and four times two is equal to eight. Now let us add these two separate multiplications together and see if we get our original 32. Multiplying a number by two numbers added together is the same as doing separate multiplications and then adding. Now it's your turn. I would like you to have a think about how you might solve this problem. Pause the video now and give it a go before coming back to see how well you got on. First of all, let's look at the chairs with bows. We can see that there are three chairs in each row and there are five rows. So five times three is equal to 15. We can calculate the total of plain chairs by seven times three is equal to 21. If we add the two groups together, we will solve the problem. 15 add 21 is equal to 36. Let's look and see how we would solve the problem using the second method. We are being asked to add two numbers together and then multiply it by three 
the total number of chairs in each row. 5 add 7 is equal to 12. This tells us there are 12 rows altogether. So 3 times 12 is equal to 36. Pause the video here, choose a method to solve the problem and then come back and check how you got on. Here's another thinking challenge for you. Can you show that 7 times 3 and 7 times 2 is equal to 7 times 5? We can see there are two multiplication calculations that have been added together on one side of the equation. And on the other side of the equation, there's a single multiplication calculation. Do these have the same value? 7 groups of 3 is equal to 21 and 7 groups of 2 is equal to 14. Those two groups added together is equal to 35. Over here, 7 times 5 is equal to 35. So we have shown that 7 times 3 add 7 times 2 is equal to 7 times 5. Pause the video and examine this equation. Press play when you are ready to see how you got on. We can see that there are two multiplication calculations and that they have been added together. 2 times 4 We discovered that we can break a multiplication equation into two easier multiplications and add their answers. This generalization will help you solve more difficult problems. Now it's time for you to tackle your independent task. All the best!